Let's start using these three key Skype functions. Number one, make calls. A great thing about Skype is that you can make free calls to your Skype contacts. Plus, you can make phone calls to landlines and send texts to cell phones, both of which will cost just a few cents on a dollar. Let's start making a free call to your Skype contacts. Calls can be started with your contact by first selecting them from your contact list here. Locate your contact on the list and then we will show you how to call them. To the right of your contact's name are the icons to a voice or video call. Click here to initiate a voice call or here to start a video call. If you would like to add another contact to the call, click on the Add People to the Call here. Once again, choose your contact from the list and click on Add. To conclude your call, click on the End Call button here. Very easy to do it, right? Skype makes it easy to make phone calls to landlines and send a text to cell phones. First, locate the dial pad here next to the search bar. Click on it and you will see a large dial pad pop up on your screen. Now let's make landline calls. Landlines have a small charge per minute. Skype allows you to add credit or buy a subscription for even lower rates. If I would like to add more credit, I can just click on the word Get Credit here. This opens a page where you can manage your balance and subscriptions. As you can see, you can choose any one of many different plans that best fits your business needs. There are even unlimited plans. This is ideal if you want to use Skype on a regular basis. Now let's take a look at how you can send text messages to any phone using Skype. Just click up here on this arrow to return to the dial pad. Next to the call button, locate the text message icon. It's grayed out or inactive. It will become active once you type in a number. So let's type in a fake phone number, 123-456-7890. Notice how the icon is active. Click on the icon and a new message window opens. Type your message in the text box and hit send when ready. For all your Skype to landline and cell phone calls, Skype makes it easy. If you found our video tutorial easy to follow, like and subscribe to our channel for more. Number two, inviting others to a Skype call or video meeting. You can either invite people before the meeting begins or during the meeting. Now let's invite others to a meeting before it begins. Within the Skype application, make sure you are viewing your contacts on the left side of the screen. A circled camera icon can be seen here with the words meet now. Click on it. From the two sub options that appear, select host a meeting. We are now given the following three options. Copy link, Skype contacts, share. You can simply copy the meeting invitation link by clicking on it here. If you are inviting people from your Skype contacts, then select this option here. Select your chosen contacts by clicking on the checkmark circle next to their name, like this. Then, to send the invite and return to the previous page view, click Done, here. To invite others using another application or even by email, choose the Share Invite option here. Choose your desired program and follow the steps of the application to send the invitation. Once sent, you should be automatically redirected back to the Skype interface. Now it's time to start the meeting by clicking here. To invite others during an active meeting, click on Share here. Two of the options we have just reviewed during this brief tutorial will be displayed in a list. Additional options such as default email, Outlook mail, Gmail, and Facebook are also displayed, allowing you to share the meeting invitation directly using one of these programs. If choosing one of these options, follow the application's unique instructions to share the link. That's it. You now know how to invite others to your Skype meeting on your computer. What about if you are in a group call and want to raise your hand to say something important during a meeting? Let's see how to do it. Number three, how to raise hand in Skype. To raise your hand during a group call on a desktop device, select raise hand from the call controls in the bottom right corner of your screen here. Users can also see the other attendees who have raised their hands in a participant list, as you can see here. There is no limit to the number of times you can raise your hand. Now that we have identified the icon, 
Let's raise our hand during a call. Click once on the raise hand button. When you or someone else raises their hand, everyone on the call is notified and your hand will remain raised until you or someone else lowers it. Let's see how to do that next. Once clicked, the raised hand button name will change to lower hand for that person, allowing them to lower their hand once they have finished speaking or whenever they want. Go ahead and click on it to lower your hand. Others on the call can also lower the hand of other participants either by selecting the lower hand option in the participant's context menu or within the participant list. In moderated groups, when a participant wants to say something, they can raise their hand. However, only the group admin can lower participants' hands in moderated group calls. Even if an admin lowers someone's hand, the participant can still raise it afterwards. This has been Rod from Burn to Learn. Thanks for watching.